We are at the newly launched Ben Agar Theory Library. Um, you just gave me the tour. So what do people need to know? Well, we're here for a couple of reasons. Number one, to collect theory texts. So social theory, it could be literary theory. Um, the idea is to not have very uh, positivistic or empiricist books in here. So most of them mm -hmm. are what you would think of as theory or philosophy. Okay. Um, so that's the one part. The other part is to create kind of a gathering point for people who are interested in theory. So whether it's faculty or graduate students, we have this space. Oh, okay. So eventually we're going to have um, the capacity to reserve the space. If you want to have a small mm -hmm. meeting in here, you could do that. Oh, cool. Um, if you just want to come here, I have right now I have a research assistant who uh, comes here from noon to two o'clock and it's open office hours. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Great. Is, is it interdisciplinary or cross-disciplinary or it's whatever the word is? Completely interdisciplinary. Oh, okay. And we even have things, so I mean, these are the kind of typical Marx, uh, Foucault, Frankfurt School theory, you name it, sociological theory, political theory. Um, but we also have even planning theory, thanks to Enid Ardvidsen, um, oh, wow. who donated a bunch when she retired. And again, we have uh, a lot of archeological theory. So it, it runs the gambit. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely.